In this video you are going to learn about how to create or how to use a rotational blend in PTC Creo Parametric. So rotational blend is used to create a multi-section solid around an axis. So you can see the rotational blend under the shapes, drop down the shapes, you can see here rotational blend. So click on here. Now you can see that the section is in red mark. So it indicates it is need to be defined. So click on sections and sketch one and define now select the plane to sketch click sketch now the sketch tools are visible so create your first section so I'm going to create a rectangle as my first section modify dimensions After creating the first section, click OK. Your section must be a closed loop and a sketch should contain uh, only one closed loop for performing the rotational blend. Click OK. Now in axis, select this. So now the rotational blend is performing around this axis under the section. So insert is used to create a new section or <coughs> the end section so now you can see section 2 is undefined we have to locate the section through the reference or offset from the previous section so here I don't have any reference so I'm going to use offset dimension so I'm using 30 degree from the section 1 with respect to the y axis click sketch the plane is created click on sketch view to reorient the sketch now we have to define the section 2 so I'm using circle as my second section don't forget to divide the circle into the equal section so the section 1 contains 4 nodes so we have to divide this circle as also a 4 nodes 1st, 2nd and 3rd, 4th the dimension for the nodes so now my second profile is completed click on check mark you can see the multi section is created around an axis in a defined parameter so I'm going to create another section click on section so insert a new section so I'm using offset dimension from the section to I'm using the angular 60 degree click on sketch so we can get a reference of the previous sections So I'm using the sketch for the third profile. The important thing is your sections, your all of your sections should have the equal nodes. So my section is now completed. Click OK. So this indicates the start point. can see the the materials continually added based on the sections around on axis here you have also other options straight and smooth it is to define the section alignment so the material is aligned perpendicular to the sections and smooth indicates the curvature is continuous and here you can connect the starting profile and ending profile look on here and we can see that the start section and end section is connected with the material 
through the uniform curvature. So after completing the profile, click OK to accept it. Thank you for watching.